A 32-year-old nurse with an infectious smile cheerfully reported for duty, but she had no idea that this would be an ill-fated day. Halosini Pele was a vibrant young woman who had just completed her degree and started a new job at Lancet Laboratories in Morningside Clinic. Halosini sat down to perform a routine blood draw on a patient. She accidentally bumped the trolley where she had placed the needle and syringe. The needle and syringe fell and pierced her right calf. She reported it to her senior who ordered an HIV test on this patient. Results showed that the patient was HIV negative. However, a previous blood test indicated that he had malaria. Halosini asked if she might contract malaria from her needle stick injury, but was assured that she could only contract malaria from a mosquito or if she lived in an area that was at risk for malaria. She went home thinking everything would be fine. That evening, Halosini complained to her sister that her leg was turning blue and that she had flu-like symptoms. Nine days later, she was worse. She decided to go to her doctor, but changed her mind and went to a pharmacy instead and purchased flu medication. On Christmas Eve, Halosini was so sick that she went to her doctor who diagnosed her with bronchitis. A few days later, Halosini's sister, Yogashini, found her unconscious on her bathroom floor. Yogashini rushed her sister to the hospital, where it was confirmed that she had contracted malaria. In addition, she had developed a complication called adult respiratory distress syndrome. Family members were called as she was in a critical condition and gasping for breath. She never regained consciousness, and two weeks later, she died. And so an expensive lesson is learned. Routine use of safety needles would have prevented this tragedy.